so hello students good morning so today we are going to see about the container and empty tags in html so the html tags we can classify into two types they are container elements and empty elements so first one is container elements so what is meant by container elements means the tag which will record opening and closing is known as the container elements or tag so that means the tag which contain both the opening tag and the close tag so for example the uh, html here it also have the close tag right how we write the close tag like slash html so so like html body title p all this have both the opening tag and the close tag so it is called as the container tag and empty tag means the tag which have only the opening tag and no closing tag like example break b or it is for used for break so these are the two types of tag we are using in html so now uh, then we can see about some of the tags we are using in html and uh, users okay so first we are using the html tag and the, that is the opening tag is html and the closing tag is slash html and it is the type of container so what is the u function of this type means it uh, delimits a complete html documents it only deli uh, tells whether it is the html documents so what are the attributes used in html means direction and language okay then next is head this is the opening tag and slash head is the closing tag it is all because of this close tag it is also called it is the container type it defines the function header it defines the header section so it was used inside the html that's enough then the next one is title so it also has both the opening tag and close tag so it is called as the container tag so title means defines the document the heading that means title of the document is uh, given under the title tag okay then next is the body tag it also contain both the opening and close tag so it is called as container so the body tag is used to define the document so for the what are the attributes we have in body tag like background bg color text left margin and top margin or the attributes we are having in the body tag then is h1 h2 h6 all these are the heading tags keep it remember so h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 up to 6 so up to 6 is the heading tag and the next one slash h1 slash h2 slash h3 slash h4 slash h5 and slash h6 is the close tag of heading so it also has both the open and close tag is called as the container tag okay so it what it define mean it defines one of six levels of heading it defines the six levels of heading and uh, the attributes we are having in the heading tag is align align is the attributes we are you going to use in this heading tag the next one is p it also has both the opening tag and close tag p is used to define the paragraph p means paragraph of the text so it defines the paragraph of the text the attributes we are having in the p uh, p tag is align here also the same align then br tag it has only the opening tag it uh, no close tag or having for break so it is an empty tag it is insert a line break it is used for to break that means if we want to continue the line in the next line then we can use the break so it the output will get in the next line okay so these are the time of some of the tags we are uh, going to use in this html program that is html tag head tag title tag body tag heading tag paragraph tag and break tag okay guys study this okay thank you